all at the Hughes Show It's a lot of fun He's got all the answers Yeah, he's got them written down So let's all watch a Hughes Show Till he gets to number one We are live with Hugh Shows, these exciting live shows that we're doing this season. Uh, my name is Hugh Twyman. I'm your host. Uh, you can check me out at HughShows.com. Follow me on Twitter at Hugh Shows and Facebook. I've been writing a music and photography blog in Pittsburgh for 14 years. Uh, since 2004, what were you doing in 2004? In 2004, uh, I was... I was still in middle school. Nice. <laughs> I'm here yeah. with Sarah Halter. Uh, she's a singer-songwriter, also the lead guitarist and uh, songwriter for a band called Blue Clutch. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're going to hear a couple of uh, her solo tunes, and we're going to actually hear a brand new Blue Clutch tune, Acoustic. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sarah, we're going to uh, talk a little bit. But first, yeah. uh, the song you're going to do is Little Grave Digger. Part one. Part one. Yes, yes, yes. The first song. That's what I'm going to open up with. Today. Right on. You ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready to start. Should I? Can I say a few words or just? Start? We'll we'll get that in the. Okay. Uh, yeah, say whatever you want. This is Little Grave Digger yeah. Part One. It's it's uh, like the one of the main songs from my first uh, EP that I released. It was a solo EP. I released it in 2016. So here's Little Grave Digger Part One. Face all covered in lace, it took you back to the time when you wore the rain. 
face across 95 In the blue moonlight She almost killed your girl when she put up a fight But it went too far in the back of your car You never paid her for that lip service to your head and your heart Ooh. There's a fight for every coffin ready to go down. Hey now, what you know? There's gonna be a little grave digger at the show. Make way for that weary soul. Star sipping moonshine, see how far it goes. Hey now, what you know? There's gonna be Digger at the show, make way for that weary soul. Star sipping moonshine, see how far oh, oh, it goes. Oh, 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 yeah. Drink up, little grave digger. Oh, it's a five foot ivory coffin, ready to. That was called Little Grave Digger. Part one. Part yes. one, and there's a part two. <laughs> there is a part two. Uh, yeah. Like, or the what's the difference between part one and part two? Uh, part two is a little bit like it's a bit more gloomy, and it's a lot more. It's not as like uh, I guess like blues rocky. Okay. Yeah. But, but they're it, similar. The story, how yeah, the, the lyrics. Okay. It's like it's more of a continuation of the story. Right on. As well. And but, uh, so, yeah. uh, where can we find you online? Uh, you can find me online um, under the Facebook name Sarah Halter. Uh, just my first name, last name. That's, Sarah that's, with an H at the end. Yeah, Sarah okay. with an H at the end. That's my solo music page. Uh -huh. uh, you can also find my solo EP on. Um, what is it? Yo, yeah, yeah, Sarah Halter all together dot bandcamp dot com. Okay. Sarah Halter dot bandcamp dot com. Yeah, go ahead. You can preview the songs on that. And you have a SoundCloud dot com slash Sarah. Yeah, there's a SoundCloud. Halter, yeah, there's right? a SoundCloud. Yeah, as cool. well, Sarah underscore Halter. And so for yeah. these online sites, do you put demos up or like uh, how, how do you use them I, as an artist? I usually use them for like for anything with um, my solo work, um, like yeah, any anything promotion promotion wise. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, demos. Obviously, like for Bandcamp, I have any like uh, like records done. I have an original version. Uh, it's more of a demo like version of my EP, and then I have a remastered version uh, on there as well. That actually, Leah Silverbeam is my partner, and also she's the drummer of Blue Clutch. Uh -huh. uh, she uh, hi, Leah. remastered. Yeah, hi Leah. She's probably watching. <laughs> she might be. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you guys, please check that out if you haven't. Cool. Um, yeah, please, every dollar helps like my work yeah. immensely, and then I can continue to make more music for you guys. And also another uh, website, if you've seen maybe I don't know some kind of me, if if you caught me at an open mic or if you've seen me at a, like a show, solo show before, or maybe on a podcast um, that like Liz Victory does. It's like the the River's Edge. She does uh -huh. that, that broadcast that was featured right. on that. Hi, Liz. Maybe you're watching. Hi, Liz. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I I talked about Blue Clutch, my uh, mm -hmm. band. For we have a totally different sound, which I'm gonna play a song. Yeah, that's the last song you play. Yeah. We'll we'll get into that. Yeah, for the we'll get into that later. Other part. Uh, just tell but me, yeah. uh, were you born here in Pittsburgh? No, no, I was actually born in Hershey, PA. Okay. Um, I grew up in Central Pennsylvania. Where in is that Hershey or the you moved? No, 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 like, no. My parents moved like when I was very young. They and moved what's to State the name College, of the and us. then they moved okay. to Warriors Mark. Like yeah, State College, Altoona, Tyrone is where I went to high school. Okay. Tyrone High School. Nice. And yeah. when did you move here? Uh, I moved here in what is it, July of 2015. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. So I've been here about over. It'll be in this July. It'll three be years. Three. Yeah. Years. And how do you like the scene here? Or I like it overall. Like it's been great. Like I've I've come like a long way, and it's a great place to get started. Um, mm -hmm. I think like a lot of people are super talented, and yeah. like I really. But you definitely love jumped a lot in because I I assumed that you were here for a while, but th yeah. only three years. I've I've known of you for at least three years. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just started to like work, just like make like work, work yeah. every day, work yeah. at it, and like I I really got my start uh, at open mics. Like that's when I first you know started to meet people, get net you know like make contacts, right. start like playing lots of solo music, and then I met um, Leah and Rich, and um, Elisa was there too, but she mm -hmm. could not stay with Blue Clutch. Um, we formed Blue Clutch in two thousand. It was early 2016 we started to play um stuff kind of changed like as we started to make music together like uh -huh. our sound like developed a lot we were like experimenting with a lot of things uh but now we really have a solidified um progressive metal or progressive alternative metal sound right and so um you're a trio now yes is that what you, okay yep. and then uh we'll talk about you're working on a new album mm -hmm. i'm still going into yes. the past like when did you when did you <laughs> like oh i'm all she's about like, the shut future. up you i I'm just want to yeah future. yeah right <laughs> how, nah, uh, no, how long have you played here. guitar like since you were little I, I played i think i started when i was like 15 or 16. Yeah. i i was in um like in music classes and things in school ever since i was like maybe in fourth grade i, uh -huh. mean, I always loved music classes mm -hmm. i was always very uh you know drawn to music drawn to singing and drawn to just listening and hearing things yeah. musically, like music, the musicality of things, I could really like hone into it and dial into it. Um, and I played trumpet. That was my first instrument, jazz trumpet. Do you still play? Uh, I haven't played in a while. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I could probably do it. Yeah. Like, I can, okay. Yeah, cool. But read music. Yes. Can you read, can read music on a guitar? Um, I didn't it? learn that way, but I could. Yeah. yeah. I could. Oh, you could. I could. Okay. Yeah, if I if I sat down to learn a piece, yeah. I could. What about piano? You play piano at all? I can make, make out things by ear. Pretend to play yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, cool. But yeah. Nice. Guitar cool. is my thing, guitar and singing. <laughs> right on. So yeah. uh, so the first two, the song, Little Brave Digger, and this next song, the, these are the, your solo stuff. Yes, this next song will, is, uh, yeah, it's also on that Little Grave Digger uh, solo EP. And it's, it's called Cognitive Dissonance. And tell me yes. a little bit about the song. or. Um, this song is about, like, excuse me, dealing with, um, like, well, it was originally like about addiction, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, but not not necessarily myself, but just observing it in other people. Uh -huh. And um, it also like cognitive dissonance is like when you're exposed to something for the first time, which you just don't know really what to do with yourself. You might be in like a total state of shock, or just you know confounded by something that is new to you. Mm -hmm. Like I think we've all experienced some kind of cognitive dissonance in our lives like I, people who I talk to they really really love this song nice I think I think like a lot of people can relate to it mm -hmm. um, I hope everybody can cool um, you ready yes I am ready right on okay yeah. uh, cognitive dissonance cognitive dissonance that's hard say that three times <laughs> fast cognitive dissonance <laughs>
So, um, uh, you mentioned the the open mic scene. Yes. And how uh, how was how furtive was that scene to your growing as an artist? It was definitely very, very important. Very, very like I, I'm supportive. I'm so, yeah, supportive. Yeah, yeah, very supportive overall. Like I um, basically I, I was yeah I was talking to Ty about this earlier and like saying like how like 
don't have like a whole lot of time anymore to go to many open mics uh-huh. just because of like work schedules and like current projects and life and things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I started to go, uh, I met some people who like, who really like got, I, I guess, like interested in what I was doing quickly. And mm-hmm. like, I was, I was able to like find out about other shows, and right, show right. opportunities and other open mics. And so that like really helped to motivate me to like write even more music and just be mm-hmm. like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, I'm actually doing this. This is awesome. Right, and, 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 and I think that's in general with Pittsburgh, like not even yeah. the music scene, but uh, people in general oh, yeah. are, are like real supportive and Overall, yeah. mostly friendly, you know, yeah, yeah. you'll get a couple jags. Oh, but, sure. Yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like anywhere, but like oh, yeah. I, I've always noticed that specifically within the music scene, but also mm-hmm. in general public, like if you stop and ask for directions, people will sit there for... You know, oh, yeah, they'll talk to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of people, like, if they haven't seen you before as well, like, uh, if they liked what you're doing or they like something about, like, you know, your image or what you're trying to say yeah. or what you're, like, how you play, like, they'll tell you. Yeah. They're like, hey, like, you're really cool. Like, I haven't seen you. Or maybe, hey, I have seen you at an open mic before. Or, hey, I know your band. Or, right. um, hey, I follow you on cool. Instagram. I follow you on Facebook. Yeah, and that must be a um, boost. You yeah, know? it is. Cool. It really is. Right on. And then all the festivals as well. Um, that's another like yeah. opportunity to learn about like we can promote our shows and what we're doing at open mics yeah we do get you know chances to go to them right on and um so talk about blue yeah. clutch uh that's yeah. your band project that yes. you uh how many releases do you have as of now we don't have any you don't have no, anything out no, you, but no. you have stuff we that i could up check for out a big one yeah oh, okay. yeah we're saving up for we were basically we we have basically saved up for a big one <laughs> nice cool um so just how production far wise and yeah how far along are you in the uh, on the debut it, it's almost done okay. um although i'm not going to give any official date yet there's no official date yeah because uh, if you do that then and you don't you know right yeah 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 it's expected okay expected <laughs> to be out in 2018. Okay, so um, this year, uh, yeah. but like, where are you? If you have, see, I don't know any of this. Master, recorded, mastered, mix, whatever. Yeah, what, we, um, we're not sure about the mastering yet. Okay. How we're going to do that, but we've done all of the recording at Tonic Recording Studios. Okay. Um, big shout outs to Doug Casper and Brian Cole, who we've worked with nice. uh, in the process. Uh, it's really been uh, a growth process for all of us as musicians. Uh, we really learned so much. We started recording uh, in October of this year. Uh-huh. Or last year. Or, or last yeah, year. it's I'm 2017. Yeah, last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still thinking. It's, it's, it's just, <laughs> uh, Time just goes by melds, so melds fast. together, right? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, but we started then, and uh, we are in the final, like the final touches, and we're very soon moving on to uh, mixing. Okay, well. cool. So. Yeah, and so uh, what do you see? Uh, like, uh, like you're gonna stay in Pittsburgh for a while? You're gonna make a bunch of albums? What do you long term? What, what are you uh, thinking? Long term? Uh, well, who knows? We can't really right? say. I mean, yeah, who knows? I mean, definitely, we'll we'll be here. Probably for the next couple of years, yeah. I would say. I mean, yeah, you don't know. You don't know. Right. I don't really want to go into, like, uh, maybe. you know, maybe, <laughs> like, who knows? Like, it's really hard to say, like, who knows? Yeah, talk about a, th- a question that puts you on the <laughs> spot. There we go, Here, yeah. excuse me. Hey, can uh, you give me your bank me, yeah. account number, too? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, um, so yeah, the, are you sending, are you yeah, sending right, right. money? <laughs> yeah. uh, so the last song you are going to play uh, is, I believe, the title track to the upcoming Blue Clutch album. It so is, yes, yes. So we have a title. We've, yes, we okay. do have a title, and yeah, we are, um, yeah, we are talking about it at shows. We haven't been super, like, um, you know, Secretive yeah, about it. Posty yeah. about yeah, right, it right, right. on social media. But uh, the album, or yeah, this LP album, whatever, by LA Record Standards, it is termed an album. We did look we did look into this. You know um, how many songs? It, there are, I believe there are like nine tracks. Nine, nine tracks. tracks. So, the, um, well, it's an extended EP. No. <laughs> extended EP, yeah. <laughs> yeah Wait, maybe ten. Yeah, it, yeah, I forget. I can't really think at this moment. Like, I know it's like, I, we want to determine as an LP, but like by other standards with material, it's an album. So it's an album, LP, LP or album, a, yeah, whatever yeah. you want to call yeah. it. It's longer than an EP, definitely. Okay, cool. Um, but anyway, it's called Silent Oblivion. All right, that we're going to hear it? Yeah, this is, right uh, yeah, this is a track from that. I might just play a shorter... Well, I'll, I'll play the whole song. Play the whole I'll play song. the whole version. Why not? I, I need to do a tuning adjustment here, yeah, and then I'll start. start for sure. But yeah, I must say the process of this album has been super eye-opening to me, and I'm very thankful that I had the chance. And thank you again, Hugh, for having me here. It's been a pleasure, as always.
This is not the end of everything Welcome to the edge of reckoning This is not the fate of all we have And can we escape from this silent oblivion Silence facing Heartbeats racing Hoping for a chance to speak their minds Heartbeats failing Suffocating Hoping to enter a sacred refuge Oh, oh, oh. This is not the of everything Welcome to the edge of reckoning This is not the fate of all we have And can we escape from this silent oblivion Always waiting for them to stop their hating as if they ever had any to stop their hating oh we're strong but we must fight on on and on this is not the end of everything welcome to the edge of reckoning this is not the fate of all we have And can we escape from this silent oblivion? Everyone knows their way around this mess But maybe for them it was never chaotic enough We'll know the way around this mess Can we escape? From the silent oblivion Thank you, that was Silent Oblivion. Uh, expect Blue Clutch's debut album to be released, expected, in 2018. Also check out, uh, we have a show actually on uh, Saturday, people are watching now, if you don't got anything to do on Saturday night, we have a show at Cativo uh, with Stone Wicked Souls, The Vix, and The Ugly Blondes. We'd love to see you there. At Cativo. Cativo, well, yep. What, what, uh, what any other on the horizon? Any other shows booked yet? Uh, this is our last one for March. We've reached our capacity. We're still working on the recording uh -huh. uh, process. If something comes up uh, for April, uh, we will definitely post the events on our Facebook page, facebook.com Blue Clutch, uh, and also I think we will be. A Secret festival that has a there is out. a secret festival. It's not a secret yeah. festival, but it's, you know, I heard you talking earlier. Yeah, there's also a secret festival. Yeah, there's a festival that's <laughs> not so secret, but it hasn't been announced. So yeah, try, <laughs> try, try to guess it, right? <laughs> yeah, try to right. guess that one. Right, yeah. right. So thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you, Hugh. I really do thank appreciate you. you coming in. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll be Absolute definitely pleasure. checking you out. And yes. uh, yeah, thank it's you. been a pleasure. So uh, go check out Sarah. Sarah Halter. Dot bandcamp.com, soundcloud.com slash Sarah underscore halter, and Blue Clutch has a, 
Wait, what's the blue clutch presence? It's a Facebook.com blue clutch. Yeah. That's the main one. I mean, one. if you yeah. Google stuff now. Yeah, we have a U- we're on YouTube, you know? YouTube and Reverb Nation as yeah. well. But yeah, check us out, Blue Clutch Band out at like Pittsburgh. You might get like a, I don't know, a picture of like a bag or something if you just do that. We <laughs> say yeah, sell it music or something like that. Right on. <laughs> well, thank you all for thank joining, uh, tuning in for this special live show. Uh, we are doing some live shows this year. We were doing uh, some. Uh, regular studio shows uh and i do appreciate it so uh we will see you next time uh if you're on facebook watching right now stay tuned but uh for now thank you so much for tuning in and always remember to support pittsburgh music and i even messed that up always remember to support pittsburgh music yes always remember thank you right on (laughs) okay we're staying live with facebook right right? Yay. yay We have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you. Yeah, we have a way. Explaining things to you, yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you, yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you, yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you, yeah, we have a way of explaining things to you.